Welcome back, my sweet friends. As you can see, I am headed into Walmart to check out what's new for Christmas 2024. And wow, did we hit the jackpot. So let's go shopping. Now this Walmart had put out a lot of Christmas merchandise and it took me three days to film this video. Now this video is a little bit longer than my typical videos, but it's going to be worth the walkthrough. Walmart had put out a lot of adorable merchandise and I'm pretty sure you're going to find something that you enjoy. It took me three days to film this entire video and my first trip to this store, they had not put out any of these adorable inflatables that you're seeing, but all of them were reasonably priced. So we're going to start with all the Christmas ornaments and the floral picks that they have put out. I see a lot of new ones this year, such as this particular Gingy here. And all of these Christmas ornaments here are $1.98. Now, this rolling pin Gingy right here is new to Walmart this year. It is so charming, and the little Gingy has a pink bow tie. And I think this ice cream triple dip is new. That pink and white snowman is from last year. And so is the little chef, Gingy, as well. And I really enjoy looking at their ornaments. Now, isn't this adorable, these little Gingies on the cookie sheet? This is a new ornament this year with the cutting board. And these are the Jumbo Gingy um, ornaments. They were $4.98 a piece. And they came in two versions that I saw when I visited the store. Isn't that so adorable? Look at all those little gingies across that cookie sheet. So adorable. So if you're planning on doing a gingerbread theme or decorating with gingerbread accessories, you might want to stop and check out Walmart because their price points are awesome. This is a new gingerbread ornament this year. I really like the white background and how they centered the gingy. So is this Rudolph um, miniature coffee mug ornament. I really like these porcelain Santa heads. They were of high quality in my opinion. And where can you find white poncettias with gingerbread sprinkled on the petals? Walmart seems to have widened their variety of floral picks. They have bought more quality pieces this year, and I'm happy to see those as well. Using decorative picks and floral picks are a great way to elevate your Christmas decorating, especially if you're going to be decorating a mantle and you're going to run a string of garland across there or if you have a banister a stairway that you want to add garland to you can add these variety of picks to elevate the look 
I also like these little snowball picks here. I thought they were adorable. So if you're going for a more muted look on your Christmas tree this year, or you want to decorate a green tree and add white accessories, I thought these would be adorable to add to your tree. And I am loving all these cupcakes. These will be beautiful to add if you're doing a sweet tree, Christmas tree. Now try saying that three times fast. <laughs> I thought these picks right here were interesting. They seem to be vintage looking. It looks like something how the string lights used to look back in the day when my aunt used to decorate the Christmas. <music> I really enjoy walking through and looking at all the wonderful ornaments that Walmart puts out each season. It looks like they have really expanded this collection this year to cater to more decorating style. As you can see, there's ornaments for rustic style decorating, farmhouse style decorating, glam decorating. They have the traditional red and green ornaments. I see a sprinkle of some ornaments that look kind of vintage. They are also expanded the pastel pattern ornaments as well. So I'm really taking my time and giving you a close-up look at each of these ornaments. Hopefully something catches your eye or something just triggers you in how you want to start decorating for Christmas this year. As a seasonal decorator, sometimes I take my Christmas ornaments and I don't just use them to hang on the Christmas tree. I've actually have found Particularly from Walmart, I found some ornaments that they were large enough that I actually used them on a tiered tray or I placed them in a small vignette or I have added some to my Christmas wreaths. 
And I have also added Christmas ornaments when I gift wrapped my Christmas gifts just to give it a more high end look and a more whimsical look. So now we have arrived in the garden center and we're going to take a look at this garland here. And I'm pretty sure this garland is going to go viral. And it looks like it's already selling out. The My Texas House nine foot natural field cedar garland for $29.99. So now we're going to take a look at the remainder of the collection of My Texas House. It seems like she likes to design a lot of neutral styles in her Christmas decor. I think she bought back this particular little miniature tree. I do recall seeing this or something similar last year. And this is this is for people that want to do something drastic this year. Maybe you don't want to decorate with the traditional red and greens and all the other colors. Maybe you want to be soft this year and you want to try a neutral style Christmas. I think this is a beautiful collection and you have a variety of things to choose from. I would suggest that if you're going to do a neutral style Christmas that you... Um, be very careful of how you choose your colors. And when you're doing a neutral style, it's important that you get the textures right because it will quickly become boring to your eyes if you don't match the textures and add layers into your neutral style decorating. I think I've designed a lot of Christmas trees over the year and I have done a white Christmas tree and I've also done a neutral style Christmas tree on a traditional green tree but I didn't put it on my main floor I put it on the second floor of my home. I'm happy to see that my Texas house has some pops of color here with the velvet ribbon. I'm liking this six foot garland as well. And the leaves, they seem to be made out of metal on that particular garland. Leave a comment below and let me know what colors you're planning on decorating for Christmas this year. And also leave a comment and let me know how many Christmas trees do you put up in your home? I like this quilted pattern tree skirt and it was only $16.98. at some Christmas trees and as you can see they've got some boxes stacked up here in the way but we're going to take a sneak peek of what's going on here. I'm liking this trio of white deer with the pops of red bows on each. I also like the texture of this flock Christmas tree and it was by my Texas house. They're offering a Christmas tree this year and it's a seven and a half foot pre-lit Christmas tree for $189.99. And we have two gnomes here making a Christmas appearance. And here's another flock tree option. It is nine feet tall and it's pre-lit for $229. And here I am enjoying the moment.
Now this is day number three and I'm back at the garden center. As you can see, they have removed all the boxes this time so we can really get up close and personal and see everything. Now this three deer set, it was $79.99. I'm noticing that the gnomes seem to be fading to the wayside. I'm not seeing as many as I used to see. Now here we have are the largest nutcrackers that I have found so far. And they come in this beautiful bubblegum pink, red, white, and black. Now the texture is not as soft as it actually looks, but you could really do a whimsical Christmas with these. I'm seeing some trends here as I take a look around and visit various stores. I see that gingerbread items are gonna be big this season as well as nutcracker items. And so now we have Santa here in his bathrobe and he's holding a coffee mug that actually says hot cocoa. And he has his list of his good and naughty Christmas list. So watch out, boys and girls. Santa is checking out his list and he's checking it twice. Now this is a smaller version of the Nutcracker and this particular color is called Blush. So it's a shade of pink. Leave me a comment below and let me know when you start decorating for Christmas. Do you start before Thanksgiving or I'm after? also loving these vintage style reindeer. I think they're so cute. They come in two versions. You get the standing version as well as the sitting version. And I think this is my favorite one. I like the little pink ears and I like the little spots on his back. Now this is another version of the standing deer and with the scarf and he's $12.98. I like the natural shade of brown that is used on each of the deer here. Uh oh, I may have spoken too soon. Now we have a few little gnomes here and we also have these beautiful Snowflakes, they come in the large size for $6.98 and the smaller version for $4.98. And we have this Christmas countdown with the vintage Santa for $6.98. And then we have this three-piece set of nutcrackers for $9.88 or $9.98, one of the two. And we also have these little unique-looking snowmen with the little... um ear warmers on and I'm loving these gingy pastel pink houses aren't they so adorable I like how they decorated these they gave it so much frosting they've added a little bow to the top they have Santa in the front a Christmas wreath on the door how adorable and if you've made it this far in my video, in the comment section, leave a Christmas tree emoji so I can see who actually stayed with me to the end. Now, it may seem kind of odd that I am putting out a Christmas video in October, but um, as a fellow YouTuber, you know, we have to do things a little bit earlier than non-YouTubers. And so we want to put this out here so you can have firsthand to see what's available. So when you get ready to go out shopping, you know what stores to go to and what to look for. I am happy to report to all my sweet friends that Walmart has expanded their Christmas collections. They have bought in a lot of new merchandise and you're going to be presently surprised when you visit your store. And a lot of these items that they have produced this year are comparable to some of your more high-end stores like Anthropology, Pottery Barn, you know, those more pricey stores where they give you very tiny discounts. And using bells in your Christmas decor seems to be on trend this year as well. 
I like the price points of all the Christmas wreaths that I'm showing you right here. None of these wreaths were over $30. And this one was gorgeous. I really love the the pine cones and the red holly berries. And there's so many to choose for them. This one here was only $24.88. I thought this one was quite unique, feel full of pine cones. And I really like this garland as well. It was six feet for $27.88. I like the color and the texture. When I purchase um, whether they're floral picks or wreaths, I always, especially if they have these red holly berries on them, I always check to see are they made out of plastic or foam? Because if you get them with the foam, they will crack and they will show the inside of the white foam. Licking at the treetops, they're covered in snow. Listen to the Now, for those of you that are bow challenge, um, Walmart has a beautiful selection of bows at reasonable price points. So if you're looking to use bows in your garland on wreaths or add them to your Christmas tree, there's quite a variety for all decorating styles, whether it's traditional reds and greens, non-traditional colors or farmhouse style or whatever you're going to use this season to decorate with. Now, these wall decor pieces here, you could also incorporate those into a wreath. It's a way to elevate your wreath and to give your wreath more layers. This green metal Christmas tree seems to be new, and they had some reasonably priced signs. They were $4.98 each, and I'm going to show you this one so you can see what it says. Now, this would be a beautiful accent piece if you're going for a more to, um, neutral style Christmas decor. And just check out these little cutie patooties here. They were $6.98 each. And I also like this little white metal um, snowman. And this green tree here was made out of metal as well. And here we have this large gingerbread cutout and also the snowflakes. Now this 24-inch Sonoma wreath was gorgeous in person. That's why I'm giving it a thumbs up. And that price point is awesome. This definitely gonna sell out. And if you're looking to update your wreath hanger, Walmart has quite a selection. And this wreath right here was $4.88. In my opinion, it did look cheap.
And this wreath right here was a pre-lit LED light wreath. And this is gorgeous. If you're going to buy some garland, get this 9-foot Sonoma garland. Now, this inflatable was absolutely stunning and i was tempted to get it i don't know what the price is there was nothing labeled here but this was a box next to it saying store display oh, christmas tree oh christmas tree the leaves are so unchanging oh christmas tree Thank you so much for joining me today. I really had a lot of fun bringing this video to you and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and if you're new, how about you hit that bell on the way out. Until the next video, happy decorating. Bye guys!